congratulations on behalf of a grateful nation. We're so fortunate as figure skaters. I mean, there's no other amateur sport that really gets to go out and do exhibitions like that. And what a great outlet for us creatively to work on our craft as it relates to the fans. Headlining the 26-date cross-country tour, Tessa and Scott will be joined by the likes of Elvis Stoiko and Caitlin Osmond, bringing together the best in Canadian figure skating. It was a pretty natural fit in, in choosing the castmates, really, because we, we experienced such success together with the team event in Pyeongchang. Being able to travel with them is equally amazing. And touring with someone like Elvis, who has such experience, and what a legend in yeah. the sport. Tessa and Scott headlining this, we all were like, yeah, let's do this together. Right. Yes, it seems the whole country covets this charismatic pair, but making it to the top of the Pyeongchang podium came at a cost. You realize just how you're going through your life, you're like, okay, I'm gonna get a cup of coffee and then I gotta be at the rink because yeah. I wanna win the Olympics and <laughs> I'm gonna win the Olympics and then also I wanna win the Olympics. It's really all you think about. So interesting why we're both still single. <laughs> now they're focusing their energy on producing a first class show for their first class fans. We're just throwing out every crazy idea. I said, what about confetti at the end? Yeah. And then I got an email the next day, I think we found confetti that could work, you know, that you could skate over and all these, all these crazy yeah. things. With show prep dominating their thoughts, it's no wonder they're a little out of the entertainment news loop. Justin Bieber and Haley Baldwin are now engaged. Do you guys have thoughts? <laughs> I have thoughts. <laughs> what? What happened with Selena? Last time I checked in with a magazine, they were riding bikes together. Fair enough, but I've got one more hard-hitting question. Are you going to do another Olympics? We don't know. I mean, you know when people say that after a big event, you really shouldn't make any sort of serious right. life decision. We're right. really taking that to heart. We're following our passions and, and good things are happening. And this Thank You Canada Tour is a project that we've talked about for years. It still feels unreal. It feels like it's a dream. Good for you guys. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you so much.